Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Optimization. This video covers the Gecko Dynamic Optimization Suite. Gecko is a Python wrapper that interfaces with nonlinear solvers like IPOPT to optimize dynamic systems, or systems that change with time. Dynamic optimization is also known by the name of direct optimal control. So what types of problems can Gecko solve? Gecko can solve problems that contain differential equations, algebraic equations, or systems of differential and algebraic equations, or DAE systems. Taken together, this encompasses a wide variety of problems, including chemical refinery process optimization, smart power grid optimization, robotic movement optimization, managed pressure oil drilling optimization, UAV trajectory optimization, and optimization of friction stir welding, to name a few. Gecko has three primary modes of operation, dynamic simulation, parameter estimation, and predictive nonlinear control. Today we'll focus on control. There are a couple of different methods for finding optimized solutions for dynamic control problems, sequential methods and simultaneous methods. Gecko has the option of using either method. In a sequential optimization method, the initial conditions are chosen, and the dynamic system is integrated forwards, trying to reach the goal. The error is measured, and the new initial conditions are chosen. The system is integrated again, and the process is repeated until the optimization goal is reached. These methods are often called shooting methods. An alternative approach is a simultaneous solution. In this method, the system states as well as the control inputs are discretized across the solution time. Using a process called orthogonal collocation, the differential system is then transformed into an algebraic system. The resulting nonlinear program, or NLP, is then processed using automatic differentiation to obtain exact first and second derivatives of the system. The resulting derivatives are then passed together with the NLP into an NLP solver such as IPOPT, APOPT, SNOPT, KNITRO, MINOS, or one of many other options. The NLP then returns the optimal solution. The solution to the dynamic optimization problem includes both the optimal states or trajectory of the system and the control vectors that will achieve that trajectory an important application of dynamic optimization is in Nonlinear Model Predictive Control, or NMPC. In NMPC, a desired set point is given to the system. The optimizer then determines the future control inputs that will allow the system outputs to reach the set point. This optimization is done over an interval in the future known as the control horizon. The system then steps forward by one time step, applying the first calculated control action. Another time point is added to the end of the horizon, and the optimization is performed again. This repeats over and over as time progresses, controlling the system to meet the set point. Okay, let's take a look at a couple examples of how to use Gecko to solve optimization problems. This first example is a very simple one, an optimization involving four variables at a single point. We have an objective function, two constraints, some variable bounds, and initial guess values. Let's see how we would solve this problem with Gecko. Like the problem itself, the Gecko code for this optimization is quite simple. We create a Gecko object and initialize our four variables with bounds and initial guess values. We then add the equations for our constraints and the objective function we are trying to minimize. Once our optimization problem is set up, we simply call the solve command to get the answer. Here's a slightly more complicated example that involves balancing an inverted pendulum on a moving cart. We start off with a state space system describing our pendulum and cart. The gecko code to solve this problem is also a little more complicated. We define the system parameters and the time horizon we want to solve over. We include the variables and equations from our state space model and add some objective statements that tell the optimizer we want to move the cart from one location to another while still balancing the pendulum. 
Then we change Gecko to dynamic control mode and call the solve command. Gecko returns the optimal solution, which is shown in the animation here. So how can you get Gecko to use in your optimization problems? There are a couple of different options. The Gecko Python package is available via pip installation, and the code is also on GitHub. The code is available under the open source MIT license and can be used for academic and commercial purposes. Gecko runs in Python and is available across Windows, Mac, and Linux using the remote solve option. There is also a local solve option that is currently available on Windows and Linux. Just to emphasize, by default, Gecko sends your optimization problem for a solution on a public server hosted at Brigham Young University. If you have models containing proprietary data or anything else you don't want to send over the internet, you'll want to use the local solve option, which solves the problem on your own computer without transmitting any data. This is done by choosing remote equals false when initializing your Gecko model. To learn more about Gecko, you can visit the official documentation page or check out the tutorial videos hosted on the AP Monitor YouTube channel. To summarize, Gecko is a Python library for optimizing dynamic systems. It offers three modes, simulation, estimation, and control. It can be used online or offline, and is freely available under the MIT license. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See these other videos for more information on optimization topics.